You guys, I am wearing this hat uh, for two reasons. One, because my hair is so greasy, I could literally go out in the sunshine and cook eggs on it. But number two is because, keep your eyes peeled, I have some brand new news coming in regards to the Sassy merch. We are finishing out this line. It's the end of the year, but I got a very fun surprise coming. So the two don't items are gonna be the first to freaking go. So if you want those, you know the hats, the sweaters in pink, white, and black. The other merch, Sassy merch, if you want it, go get it. And keep your eyes peeled for some very exciting news. <laughs> so let's cheers to that. I'm so excited. I can't say anything, but keep your eyes peeled in all these videos. Grab your beverage. I hope you're having a great day. Cheers. We got some horribly entitled bride and grooms. Apparently, when you are getting married, some people think that that deserves special treatment. Okay. Oh, okay. So we have like a Facebook post, hair and makeup artist slash student needed. For free. For free. Oh boy. I'm looking for someone to do hair and makeup for my wedding day, which is just a small gathering as we have had to scale right back. As such, I'm looking for it to be as cheap as possible, AKA free. It's just myself that needs makeup at home or I'm happy to come to you. I'm looking for 50 style hair as in the picture and the classic makeup look. I really, that's not an easy look to do. I really don't have a lot of money and would be happy to use a student that needs portfolio work or someone starting out and trying to build a wedding portfolio. Happy to sit for practice and I'm happy to discuss styling options, looking for recommendations and quotes. It's so painful when people want other services done for free. Honestly, maybe her intention with this post wasn't even to be entitled. And she's like, yo, I'll just sit if you need some experience. Oh, but just asking someone to spend any time and effort and their services or their art or whatever for free. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't think people wrote back on that post very positively. That's my guess. We got some text messages. Damn, these got a lot of likes online. Whoo! Okie dokie. All right, so we got a text from a bride. Hi, how are you? My name is, and I was interested in your makeup services. I have a wedding on December 13th, 2019. Ooh, a Christmas wedding. I would want myself done my nine bridesmaids, my mother and my husband's mother. So total 12 people. Nine bridesmaids? That feels like a very big wedding party. I guess I might have nine, who freaking knows? The wedding is in Pompano Beach, Florida at 5 p.m. Pompano? Pompano, I don't know. Please let me know if this works for you. I'd love to have you be a part of my wedding and know what the fee would be. Ugh. I'm scared to know what the fee would be because that's a lot of people. Hi, thank you for reaching out. I'd love to be a part of your special day. My fee for a party that big would be $900. That's it? That's $75 a face and I would have to charge a $100 travel fee due to it being 4.5 hours from me. I look forward to hearing from you and I hope this works out. That is cheaper than I thought, to be honest. So $1,000 total, I'm afraid that's way out of my range. I was thinking maybe $500. Are you licensed? That's pretty bold to question that. Also, why would I be charged a traveling fee? I'm sorry, this just won't work out. Your work isn't that good to charge that amount. Maybe if you were licensed, but you aren't. Hello, sorry for the late reply. I'm sorry you feel that way. I hope you find somebody to cater your special day. What a pleasant response. She completely just crapped all over your talent and your skills and questioned it. And all you responded with, well, I'm not even gonna argue. I don't owe you an explanation. I don't need to prove myself and what I'm worth to you. So I wish you well, and I hope you find someone who will do this and will meet your needs. <laughs> That's perfect. Kill them with kindness. Words to live by by Selena Gomez, the great. Photographer asks me to shoot a wedding with her, initially offering me $150. On the day of, she revokes her offer to pay me and makes passive aggressive comments about my career, even though I've shot for major networks, celebrities, TV shows, etc. Well, go you. She just moved here from Iowa and thinks she owns the wedding industry. <laughs> well, well, oh, well, that's small. I need to zoom in. Oh my 
my grandma eyes cannot read that. All right, we got some ticks. Hey girl, this is how it starts nice. Just watch, hey girl, you always know. Oh, you get hit with the hey girl, it's gonna go one or two ways. I think I typed one number off when I gave you my cell. Ah, totally fine. Yes, this isn't the number I texted. How are you feeling for tomorrow? I would love to have you. Haha, <laughs> my bad. And I'm totally down. I'd love to come shoot with you. Would you rather meet there or meet at my place and ride together? I don't have to be there until two. Hmm, where do you live? This is my address. Totally up to you. Address. Oh, hmm, you're in the opposite direction as the venue from me, so I'm down to meet you there. Makes sense. Sounds good, hun. LA is so dang expensive. I never know what will be on the way or out of the way, but it's usually out of the way. Haha, <laughs> seriously. Plus, mileage means nothing here since it can take two hours to go 10 miles. Downtown Toronto vibes. I totally get it. I can go up the street in like 25 minutes. So, so true. In Iowa, 20 miles means 25 minutes. Okay. That's so amazing. Also, anything specific I should know for tomorrow. Just to give you some background, I've been in like five weddings in just this past year, including my own. So I'm pretty well versed with the rundown of wedding timelines at this point. I love that. You're awesome. I have a second shooter who has done weddings before that I've known for a while coming today, so I will have to pay her just because she has a bit more experience and this isn't her first time. I can obviously compensate you with a gift card, something slash something, but I won't be able to pay out two shooters for this wedding. Would you still like to come? Why not say this at the beginning? If not, I have more weddings in the future that I can bring you to. Oh, oh no, there's no O. Yes, there is. Hi, oh wow. I can totally understand not being able to pay two shooters. Unfortunately, I'm not in a position to do any work for free anymore as I've been shooting for three years now. I also have a couple of editing deadlines to meet that I would need to work on today. So unfortunately, I can't take a day unpaid with the work that I have. I would totally love to come shoot a different wedding though. She comes back and says, but you haven't shot a wedding before. Unfortunately, I'm not sure you will find a gig where you're paid until you have some wedding portfolio work. Proud of you for working hard. Y'all, I don't know. This seems so like condescending, You've, but you've never shot a wedding for. All you had to say was, okay, totally understand. Maybe the next time it'll work out. No, she's like putting you down and then ends with proud of you for working hard. Sus, I don't trust this person's intentions. I don't want to get into anything over text, but I do wish we could have talked more about everything. I actually have shot a wedding before, but the point is more about the fact that you booked me for a paid gig and then basically unbooked me the day of the shoot and wasted my time. I understand things happen though, so I wish you the best with your wedding today and hope everything goes well. And I'm sorry we had such a bad miscommunication. Eh, I don't think it's a miscommunication. I just think someone's communication isn't great. I, hold on, I've been itching my nose. <sighs> I probably won't want to work with them anyway. In all honesty, dodged a bullet. That's the vibe I'm getting. My lips are getting a little dry, everybody. <gasps> no. Just a little gloss. My lip gloss be cool. My lip gloss be popping. I'm standing in my locker and all the boys keep stopping. <gasps> that never happened to me. I wore lip gloss every day. What did I do wrong? All right, bride has no problem saying they expect gifts from their guests on their website. Okay, so this is a screenshot from their website. Do you have a registry? We do not have a registry due to having two households coming together. We will expect gifts though. Oh, thank you for clarifying. We do prefer monetary gifts instead of material items though. We have a number of housing projects like replacing our original windows from 1989, Taylor Swift, and finishing up our back deck. Y'all, I just, that's fine. You know, whatever you decide to spend your money on is not my freaking business. But to put this on your website, ah, just say you don't have a registry or even just say, no, I don't know if there's a good way to say it. We just want your money. <laughs> I don't know, there's gotta be some brides out there. Tell me, is there a good way to like, I just feel there's a better way to say, hey, we don't have a registry, but we'd love some cash. <laughs> you know, there's gotta be a better way. What the hell is that noise that I'm hearing? Oh, now it stops, of course. No, it's back. What the f Y'all, did you hear that? 
My walls are just shook. It was like, Bleh. hello, my fellow photographers. I have a friend who is looking for someone to shoot out to shoot his wedding. It's in Buffalo, 416, 2022. I'm booked, so I can't do it. But he offered to pay $10 an hour for eight hours, $80 total of photos. <laughs> Uh, he's looking for someone professional with great quality comment yeah so you want you want good quality professional photos but you don't want to pay for the good quality professional photos now i understand 80 dollars for a full eight hour workday not to mention the time they're gonna spend editing all of those photos oh, what a joke. $80, that's the budget for a photographer for your wedding. Maybe, maybe postpone the wedding. Save up a little more if you want something so professional and high quality. That's crazy. 80, what an insult. The honor is all yours. Don't you feel that way sometimes with people? It's like, <laughs> to know me is an honor. Like the honor is all I'm totally kidding. This photographer found out the hard way that even long-term friends can flip a switch when wedding planning enters the picture. Yeah. Not satisfied with getting mates rates, mates rates, and a heavily discounted photography package, this bride seemed to think that her photographer friend should pay her for the privilege of shooting her wedding. This gonna be some shit right here. You pay us $50 and start taking photos that you can sell at the wedding to people who want them. What is this, a freaking amusement park? Remember those people in amusement parks where they're like, oh, you want a picture, get together, pose, and then you have to go to a stand and pay for the freaking picture and buy it? What the hell? That way we can use the money for the wedding and you still might, might get paid. I said no, obviously but nicely. She was very upset with this and started to cry when I said I'd do the wedding for just $50, which is way below my rate. So you're already a saint. She started with the bridezilla anger stuff, which I had to deflect for an hour until she called me a bad friend and said she'd do the same for me. Eventually she left in a huff. I just shrugged it off. Then I started getting phone calls and messages in the following weeks from mutual friends and even her family who I've never met. Soon, I'm getting messages from people saying I'm selfish and that I'm ruining my best friend's wedding. They overestimate our friendship. So you're not best friends is what you're saying. And even that I should be ashamed for leaving a friend out in the cold. So I said I'd do it for free because why not? Free booze, that wasn't good enough. She insisted I pay her. Honestly, I like I, I don't even wanna believe it. I feel like you're making it up because it's insane that someone actually thinks this way. That's concerning. Phone calls and messages persisted, getting all scorched earth, several dozen calls in the same day and several hundred text messages. I'm getting a restraining order. We would get a stop in at least once per day, which became increasingly threatening. It was turning into a crap show. So I finally told her I would do it and pay her on the wedding day. I never had intention of showing up at this point because they wouldn't just screw off no matter how many times I told them to. This was about three weeks before the wedding. Yo. I won't even cave. I'm gonna take the power back in that situation. You're not gonna threaten me. You're not gonna make me feel like I'm doing anything wrong. You're the friend. No way. No way am I even letting them have that power over the situation. No, I will not do it and I won't be there. Point blank period, leave me alone. I will call the cops if you call me again or show up at my house. Simple. Hi, this is going to sound so nasty but I'm thinking about dropping my sister as a bridesmaid. <laughs> That's quite a bold emoji to choose after a statement like that. Like, oh, I'm just gonna literally drop my sister, my own flesh and blood out of my bridal party. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> She's an absolute nightmare because of her weight. What? When I asked her what size she was, she said size 20, which is completely wrong. She's way bigger than me and I wear between 16 to 20 clothes. She seems to think because she can wear 
size 20 leggings, she can wear size 20 tops, but leggings are stretching and her top half is way bigger. What does this have to do with your wedding? She got super on the defense when I said she couldn't possibly be a size 20 and she kept being a nightmare picking dresses that wouldn't be great for her body shape. <clears throat> shape, I said that weird. I think she's going to be so hard to dress because of how big she is and how she won't accept she will need bigger dresses. I'm not really sure what to do. I feel awful, but it's stressing me out so much. I don't think you feel awful. I'm not getting the vibe that you feel awful. The way you speak about your sister and the way you're describing the situation, it feels like body shaming to me and it doesn't feel like someone who is genuinely hurting for their sister. So, kind of seems like you suck a little bit. That's your sister. Oh. That's terrible. I need a sip of water. We gotta moisten the plow. Moisten the palate is what I meant to say. I've just added bridesmaids as a payment option for weddings. What does that mean? Let's find out, shall we? Hello again, Andy. I'm doing a massive flash sale this weekend with 50% off the price you originally sent. If you're interested in booking, let me know and I can give you more info in the next steps. Okay, I don't know what we're selling, but okay. Ah, great, and you have such a talent being able to put these people's stories into a song, okay? I'm gonna be straight with you, lad. I know it's worth every penny, but we're in a pandemic and I got back in touch to see if you'll just do this one song as a favor. Lily loves ya and I'll get massive brownie points. And if you fancy coming to perform it, I'll take care of ya. Bit of grub and a couple beers and I'll put in a good word with the bridesmaids. I'm sure lockdown's got them like wild animals. This is what you meant by adding bridesmaids as a payment option. I'm disgusted. That's a very kind offer. Oh, is it? Was that a very kind offer? But sadly, the pandemic has also affected me and I also need to make money. Hope your day is amazing. Lad, I'm sorry, but I can't really take no for an answer. I reckon she'll divorce me if I don't get caught. Nope, what the hell? I reckon she'll divorce me if I don't get ya. Then you should probably pay for me and not just with food and the thirsty bridesmaids. Yeah. Now you're taking the piss, mate. Don't be ungrateful. Do you know how much it costs to head? Huh? Do you know how much it costs a head at a wedding? Do you know how much it probably costs him to stay alive during the pandemic if you're an artist and the only money you make is through performing? You weren't allowed. Everything was shut down. There were no weddings. There were no large events. <sighs> this is so gross. Everything about that. Disgusted. Yeah, like just talk about women like they're literally like here. I'll just give you that like Hate hate. Hi everyone. This is bride Your family and friends speaking here I'm gonna say this from the heart because I feel bad that I couldn't invite everyone to my wedding if you don't receive an invitation by the end of this week, know that I wasn't able to send you an invite due to limited seating. It's nothing personal. Why is it that when you say it's nothing personal, it automatically feels personal? There are family members that didn't get an invite as well as friends. We have a budget that we must adhere to. We would have invited more guests, but again, seating is limited. Also, this is an adults only wedding. No kids can come except for those in the wedding party. I hope you guys understand. Oh, I understand. I understand. My sister didn't have kids at her wedding and it was awesome. Not that I have kids, but like, you know, you know, I don't want to be shaking my ass and some four-year-old's running around next to me. Now, if you don't understand, understand this. What's not to understand? The bride and overseer of the budget speaking here. Don't show up to my wedding if you did not RSVP and you must RSVP through me. Do not show up to my wedding with a child. This is a warning. And a disclaimer. If you show up, to my wedding with a child or you did not RSVP, you will be escorted out. This is very serious. This is not Bridezilla talking. Oh, I will be the judge of that, man. This is getting you to respect authority. Authority. Respect order and respect people's pockets. 
Listen to me when I tell you this. Well, congratulations to whoever the groom is that is marrying this fine piece of human. I wish you the most luck. Good luck. I hope you have a life of happiness. I'm out of here on that note, let me tell you that. Stay classy out there, you guys. Stay sassy, and I'll see you tomorrow.